I'm a Texan, I'm a veteran, and I am a gun owner. I'm the gun owner of multiple AR-15s, primarily for hunting and, of course, to protect my three little kids at home, four-year-old, two-year-old, and a five-month-old. And no one is going to walk into my house and harm my children or my wife, my family. That, I can assure you, 6%, 6% of all homicides, gun homicides, are at the hands of an AR-15 and weapons that are outfitted with a pistol brace, 6%. 6-0% are at the hands of a handgun, and the rest are weapons designated not as the two that I just mentioned, 6%. This is clearly an attempt to diminish our Second Amendment rights, because if you just take away 6% of the gun homicides, it leaves you with 94. And I can assure you that a homicidal maniac that wants to arbitrarily murder people will find another weapon of choice. I hear the word, words, weapon of war, oftentimes as well. I'm an A-64 Delta Apache pilot. I flew 55 combat air missions in Baghdad. That is a weapon of war. A civilian-made AR-15 is nothing that I would ever take to battle. Now, I also recognize that we do have a mass shooting problem in this country, and my colleagues on the left would, of course, blame the AR-15. But I stand before you to blame the homicidal maniac. I walk in these halls every single day, and I am surrounded by brave men and women that carry AR-15s and weapons every single day. I have to walk the metal detector just to get in this building every single day. And just because I wear this pin, does not make me more important than my children. So what I offer, instead of trying to erode our Second Amendment rights, I would offer, let's protect our kids. Let's ensure that they have the same protection that we have in the halls of Congress. There are over 400 million guns currently in circulation. By the way, the overwhelming majority of the people that own these weapons or law-abiding citizens like myself. I refuse to allow the erosion of our Second Amendment rights to further disarm our population, making us less safe as a further push toward communism, because that's what happens. You disarm your population, and then the government runs amok. And we, especially down in Texas, are not going to allow that to happen. I certainly encourage my colleagues to support this resolution. I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from Texas Reserves.